That's not going to take much, I'll tell you that much. No. Not um, much at all. They could um, play They could play an NBA game, and they will probably be better than Anthony Bennett was. Just look at him. Wasn't he working out with a team like last year or year or the year before? Know. So I feel like yeah, I he's that. the first overall pick. Nobody believed in him. <sighs> Off rip. Nobody he didn't even believe in himself. In the funniest clip of all time, Shane Batty, he's doing the draft coverage, he's interviewing the prospects. Anthony Bennett goes one. He goes, he puts the mic up and he goes, Anthony, he goes, he goes, Kareem, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes Jabbar. Magic, LeBron, Bennett. Oh. Anthony Bennett's just looking at him like, man, I do not have it like that. <laughs> I am not that guy. No. Oh man, he yeah, he was bad. So, Did he go like he his first like, him. however many games without scoring a yeah, point? Look that up. Or at least hitting a shot, he might have gotten free throws off. Mm -hmm. No, I do not want him. I, I keep seeing that, and I don't even know the difference between... Oh, my goodness gracious. First seven NBA games. Dude. This is the number one overall pick. He didn't even have a point. Do you know how hard that is? I mean, Ben Simmons. Like, Ron Baker put up better numbers than this with the Knicks. Ron <laughs> Baker. 0.7 points per game. I even know what code it is. Four percent from the field. Four point eight percent from the field. I want to know what his shooting percentage was. Oh my goodness! I can look it up because you know what there is. What? There's a true shooting percentage calculator. Oh my goodness gracious! This is gonna be incredible. You can look this up. Shout out to Captain Calculator. Does true shooting go into the negatives? I want to see. I know he can go over a hundred. I, I think it was like his third NBA season. Like Trey Young was like, through like the first like eight games had like a a, a true shooting percentage over a hundred or something. I, yeah, I do. Remember, I do. Remember, I remember that. Zero point mm. seven. Big yawn. Three. God, these numbers are just awful to look at, but so funny at the same time. Zero point six. He had a true shooting percentage of 10.7%. Oh, man. What? Because isn't it, like, everything, like, field goal, three-point uh, free throw? Yeah. Oh, that's so bad, because his free throw wasn't good, but it was, like, at least 50%. That's how bad his other numbers were holding him down. Hey, yep. Yeah, also, the, hey, he was, he, was, he was active. And the yeah, steals. 0.9 he was... steals. He was on the floor. Could you imagine your team just picks this guy number one overall on this is what he does? I would have ended up on the news. Yeah, no, that that is really bad. But at least they drafted uh they made some good picks before that at least. Hmm. Yeah, Dion Waiters. Oh. Best shooting guard of all time. I really there is a universe where he is like God. Mm. I fully believe that. Did he how many games of like he only had six games of 10 through 19 points. He did not score 20 points once. That's crazy. Like, that's but bad, man. And then you only get the rest of it. He flamed out quick. Yeah, he was, what, four years in the league, something like that? Yeah. So he ended up in Minnesota. Oh. He saw some marginal improvement. You know, the points go up to 5.2. Rebounds yeah. go up to 3.8. Assists go to zero point eight. Steals go up. Blocks go up. Turnovers go down. Hmm. Mm hmm. Field goal percentage goes up. Fifteen. Three point percentage goes up. Free throw percentage Lord, goes man. up. He was just. He was a only player. up and up. Yeah. Here's the thing, my youth. If you're on the Brooklyn in 2017, like 2015 to 2019. Yeah. If you were on the Brooklyn Nets as a rotation player, this was your last chance. Yeah, I mean Trevor Booker was like a solid like third or fourth option for a couple of years, and I love I love Spencer Dinwiddie was their franchise player. Oh. Their, yeah, man, their big was three bad. was Spencer Dinwiddie, D'Angelo Russell. Who was actually pretty good for them? D'Angelo Russell oh, had a good year. For them. Yeah, I, I was able to witness Prime D'Lo live, and uh, he, he wasn't very good in the game that I went to, but um, yeah. 
Right? And Karis Levert, that was their build. Those were the, those were the building blocks. Right? Dude, I thought Karis Levert. If was you cannot so cut good. it on the Brooklyn Nets during that era, you were done. It, yeah. It's over. It, it, you're and he hasn't really been able to cut it anywhere else. But um, yeah, that look, was the Anthony Bennett section. Hold on, look. In, in 2015, he shot 90 percent from the free throw line. Don't look at anything else about like attempts or you know made. Just, just look at the look at the number. You know, if you combine his makes and his misses, that 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 number comes to one. Hmm. That is true. If you that combine his his field goal percentage, two point percentage, three point percentage, and, and three point percentage, you might get a league average play. Ooh. That is you true. know what the worst part about this is? His per 36 numbers weren't even good either. No. Because he was already That's getting a like a decent amount of minutes. Yeah. It's not like... Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> like, oh he, just, he, he didn't play that much. No, he just wasn't very good. I yeah, think. like season... His his last season in the NBA, like his per thirty six are like what RJ averaged last year, like that's not a that's not good. Good gravy, and man. Per one hundred possession numbers, not much better. I mean, he's got to be the worst first overall pick. Like Kwame is bad, but at least he had like a ten year career. 